The exams are over! I didn't, I didn't hear you come here. The exams are over! Come on! So, a very good evening to everyone. Parents, students, staff, and welcome to Celebration Evening 2022. Well done, Year 11. You have done a truly impressive job this year. I've stood here many times. Year 11 is difficult for students, staff, and your families. Every year is difficult. But of course, I don't think there's been a year group that have had it so difficult and so tough as you have. So I thought, let's have a little review. In year 10, you had to cope to, with the return to school after lockdown. And it took a real toll on almost everyone. But you managed it really, really well. I think the start of year 11 was characterised by a sense of unreality. I think people didn't really believe there'd be public exams. But I felt with you that shifted just before the December box. More and more since the start of year 11, more and more you made that key transition to serious attitude and serious study. You've always been, it seemed to me, to be a really close-knit and supportive year group. And it was a privilege to see, you, um, see that spirit forge you closer together and see you support each other in your preparations for your exams. The way you've been focused during the exam period has been really impressive. The way you support each other, even more so. Your friendliness every morning and afternoon, waiting outside the exam room. The smiles on your faces, despite all the stress that I know you've been feeling, it's been incredible. I think that a simple statistic that captures your togetherness is the fact that we've had more people come to this celebration evening than we've ever had before by quite a long way, and I think that shows how much of a unit you are. You should be proud of yourselves. I know your parents and teachers are immensely proud of you, and so am I. I've got a big thank you also to Miss Wiki. Miss Wiki has had an incredibly difficult job after being headed to Vinchin House to bring together the year group and get to know those of you not into Vinci in just two terms. I can't begin to describe how committed and passionate Miss Wiki has been in supporting you. A big round of applause for Miss Wiki. <laughs> I'd also like to say a big thank you to your parents. As students, you have had a tough time, but the stress <laughs> was also on your parents too. I would like to thank your wonderful parents for all the support they have given you and to your school in helping us to help you. A round of applause for your parents, please. <laughs> Our staff, our teachers, our mentors, our support staff, past cross support officers, Miss Daniels before and Miss Kitchak now, and tutors have put their heart and soul into helping you this year. And throughout your time at High Level, I can't imagine a group of professionals who would or could put more in than they have. Going the extra mile doesn't really apply. Perhaps no to 10 miles and people like it. So big thanks for me and a round of applause for our wonderful staff, please. Yay! So, I won't be very long. I'm going to finish off with three quotes. Albert Einstein, the sign of the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge but imagination. Abraham Lincoln, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. And Stephen Hawking, however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do to succeed at. Now I'd like to hand over to our compares beyond compare, Siren Sovereign, thank you again Year 11, have a lovely evening.
Sahar for that beautiful speech. Now we have our next speaker, Mr. Kozio. He shows great commitment, not only through the fact that he runs a school with over a thousand students, but through the way that he still supports that rubbish team Arsenal. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Crazy up to the stage. Vicky for uh, her work with the year group. I also I remember that just before year 11, uh, you were in houses, Da Vinci House, uh, Seacole House and Edison House. Uh, I wanted to also give thanks to those people who've been your heads of house and your deputy heads of house for the last four years before this year. So a big round of applause please to your heads of house. Have a dream, put the work in, and have it come true. 
I just want to say, the world needs you. The world needs you. You're unique. You have something special to give. Only you can give. Somewhere out there, there's going to be a problem that only you can solve. A challenge to take up. A person or people group that you could help. Um, and you could give a kind word, you could smile, you could make a difference in their lives. So, uh, without it to do, uh, can I uh, introduce Natalia?